a young Afro-Latino with brown, long, curly hair, a rouge pink blouse, and big glasses sits in front of the camera. Hi, my name is Joy Lenny Moran, and today we'll be talking about four types of organizations. There are many organizations out there, but today we'll focus on just four of them. For-profit organizations, non-profit organizations, non-governmental organizations, and government. For-profit organizations are basically companies that seek to make money through the sale of a product or service. Non-profit organizations, on the other hand, seek to further a particular social cause or advocate for a particular need within a community. There's a misconception out there that nonprofit organizations can't make money or won't make money. But like many other businesses, nonprofit organizations can make money. The only difference is that the profits made are redistributed into the organization to further its mission, grow its programs, and continue to benefit the community. A good example of this is Girl Scouts selling cookies. The profits made of the sale of the cookies are redistributed into the organization to further its mission and continue to grow its programs. Non-governmental organizations, also known as NGOs, are considered to be a category of nonprofit organizations. Both NGOs and nonprofit organizations work towards improving human welfare and bettering the society. But NGOs do this on a much larger scale, globally and internationally. And they focus on particular social causes, such as human rights, international development, and disaster relief. As the name suggests, non-governmental organizations are not operated by government. Government organizations or agencies are established to fulfill a specific function by and for government and can only be made or created by government or government officials. You'll see two supplemental documents. The first one identifies dif differences between the four different types of organizations. The chart includes the purpose, quick facts, and an example of the type of organization. The second document talks about how to identify a 501c3 nonprofit. A 501c3 organization is one that has been given tax exempt status and nonprofit organizations must apply to be considered tax exempt. The three ways to identify a 501c3 nonprofit are one, visit the IRS website, which will give you information, a variety of information about nonprofits. Two is research nonprofits. And here you'll learn what information you'll find and some places to find them. And three is search engines online. There's a lot of information online these days, and this isn't an exception. You'll find three different search engines that you can use to look for specifically nonprofits. The other resources include a step-by-step -step guide to forming a 501c3 organization in any state an IRS starting out resource link that includes a course video on applying for a 501c3, a link to how to start a nonprofit website 
that takes you from doing research all the way to the ongoing compliance of a nonprofit once you've formed your organization. And lastly, the revolution will not be funded. A collection that has been gathered of essays by radical activists and nonprofit staff from around the globe who critically rethink the consequences of what they call the non-profit industrial complex. This is to serve you so that you can understand the variety of conversations in the field. I encourage you to continue to research while you think of when and how you'll start your own organization. I have learned so much through this research already, and I have served different roles like volunteering, interning, and working for nonprofits. This is just the start.